It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I am Chad. I'm Sarah. And we've got something special for you. We do. It's special for us. Yeah, a special uncorking. It's a special uncorking because what we are uncorking is in this little ditty right here. Ah. And as you can see, samples. Samples. We exactly. love samples. Yes. So this was very kindly sent to us from the Vasquez family. Yes, thank you so much. You guys are the sweetest. Adrian and family. And what we have here, and what we're gonna be trying is Parker's Heritage 24 year bottled and bond, mm. Thomas H. Handy 2016, and Blanton's Straight from the Barrel. And that's awesome. It is awesome. And let me just say that we have not had any of these Not three. a single one, no. So this is a, uh, a big treat. It's a so. real treat. It is a real treat. Thank and you. Very nice letter here. Thank I mean, you. who handwrites in cursive anymore? Like, this is class yes. right here. This little... Yeah. This is I commend awesome. you, sir. Yes. And we've been me. meaning to get uh, around to this for uh, for a while now, and we're just glad that we're finally able to. So we're yeah. just going to start in order here with the Parker's, Par Parker? Parker's... Parker's Heritage. 24 year bottled and bond fall 1990. I didn't realize they came in these little tubes. Yeah, little, like, little, uh, little vials. Like a vial, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you want yeah. me to? Yeah, go ahead. With the nails. Un you talk. Un uncork. Uncork here. Untape. Uncork. So these are some more upper end bourbons that one such as us uh, haven't had an opportunity to procure. So this is awesome. So it's this, you know, a little different type of uncorking that we're normally used to. Mm -hmm. But by well, all means. Oh, well, I'm thank sorry, you. how rude of me. <laughs> it's alright, so... Did we stand in line for the, um... Is that enough? Or oh, is yeah. it too much? No, no, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> mm. Um, did we stand in line for the, the Buffalo Trace Antique 2015 or 2016? Because I just felt like I've ne I was just never going to be able to try this unless I paid an astronomical rate in a restaurant. Um, 15 and 16. I want to I want to save a little bit. Is yeah. That enough? Okay. We'll save a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna save a little bit. Just in case. So this is, of course, 100 proof. It being bottled in bond. Mm -hmm. Parker's Heritage. 1990. Heaven this Hill. bourbon is one year older than me. <laughs> did you know that? Uh, yes. I that did. doesn't make any sense. What? Fall of 1990. Well, this means. Oh, this it's is, older. This is I older. gotcha. Gotcha. So yeah. it's, it's older than me. Way older than me. It is. It was. It was matured. It was it's uh, more mature than me. It was put in the bottle, Just probably, in, in 1990. <laughs> or the bottle, the barrel in 1990. Yeah, and then 24 years later, it was bottled. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh, it smells <sighs> like history. A little bit like I'm kind of getting a peanut butter note, actually, off of this. A little bit. Just a touch, but there's something. There's a mm. lot of wood in there too, and almost like a definite nut. All right, Some sort of spice or seasoning like a clove or something like that. Longer. You can't wait? Okay, no. let's go. Oh my gosh, I definitely get like wow. the clove or like the allspice. Yeah. Like a Thanksgiving spice. Oh my gosh, that tastes like the spice you put in pumpkin pie. Yeah. Yeah. I've never tasted a bourbon like this. No, me either. Not quite That like is it. interesting. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> What's the proof? 100. 100. Yeah. It tastes stronger than that. But it doesn't burn. It's just got... It's a little dry. In the front? Maybe in the front, not in the finish. Not in the finish, no. No. But it's this... I mean, I would swear that you mix this with, like, cloves. <laughs> or allspice, you know? Yeah. Well, it does have a little dry in it. Dry in it. Finish. Just a touch. Yeah. Mmm. A nice warm tongue It's hug. a very savory, smoky, mm -hmm. savory... Wow. That's... I enjoy. And of course... I mean, oh, and this is an experience. I've never had anything like this before. No, me either. Um, of course, you know, we can our, our last sip here, we can do as a toast to Parker Beam, who oh, yes. passed away this year, to his heritage. Mm. Oh, that's tasty. Wow, the char, like this. Oh my gosh, I can't get over it. It's, that's so different. It's definitely different. So we're just going to rinse out our glass here. A technique we perfected in New Orleans. <laughs> <laughs> right. The New Orleans Bourbon Festival, where you get one glass and there's... Yeah, you have the bourbon and then your water chaser. <laughs> 80 bourbons. Wow, lovely. But it keeps you hydrated. It does. Which is good. 
So next is H for Thomas H. Handy. This is the 2016. Um, oh, oh, sorry. I blew it. Let me go back. The Parker's Heritage was uh, generously um, contributed by Joe. Joe Vasquez. So thank you, Joe. Thanks, Joe. The Thomas H. Handy is provided by Ed. Thank you, Ed. Oh. In advance. You need me to uncork it? Lady problems. There we go. So Thomas H. Handy, this is from one of the five of the Buffalo Trace Antique Collection, made by, guess who? Buffalo Trace. 126.2 <laughs> proof. 126.2 <coughs> proof, yeah. So. Yes. Mm. Doesn't smell hot, it smells caramel. It smells in totally different than the first one. Mm. Yeah, it smells sweeter. I didn't wait for you because I agree with everything that you're saying. <laughs> and this tastes like... Okay. Oh, I what? say this and I have this look on my face and it's because of me, not because of this bourbon. This bourbon is incredibly smooth. It tastes almost like a dessert, like a candy. It has some licorice in it, which I personally, I despise licorice. <laughs> but I think other than that, which I can move past, um, this is really awesome. This is also very unique. It's so different, right? Mm -hmm. I smell it, and it smells like it smells like some sort of hard candy, or like like not a caramel, but something like that. Yeah, it's kind of perfumish. Perfumish, yes, but I definitely get the licorice in it. Is that even something that I've ever said about a bourbon before? I yeah, don't even know. I think so. It takes a while before <clears throat> kind of the burn sets in, but it's a good mm, burn. Man, the finish is really 126. good. 126.2 proof. It doesn't taste doesn't, like that. Doesn't doesn't feel that way. No. no. Now I'm gonna put, since this is over 100 proof, I'm gonna go with our rule and put some water in it. I mean, that's straight up licorice. Would you like some? Yes, I'd love some. Just to see what happens. I think that's good. We both got seven. I swirl. Smell, smell, smell. See what the water does. Mm. Not a big change. Oh, for me, <clears throat> I get way less of that licorice taste. Oh, that's good. So for me, it enhances, the flavors almost last a little bit longer, and it's less upfront with that. So mm. I prefer it with a few drops of water, seven to be exact. Mm. Um, no, that's really nice. Now I can pick up on more of the caramel that you were talking about. Yeah. Because I didn't get that at all. I mean, all. I wasn't mind, I, I didn't mind that licorice flavor that you were talking to, so talking about, you know, I didn't talking to. Um, so to say, it's not much of a change for me. It's because I that initial no. flavor wasn't yeah. throwing me off. But ooh, yeah, I almost don't, a, I don't mind it with a water little bit at all. of the water. Almost increases the heat. Like now, I'm getting yeah. some chest feels. <laughs> some chest feels. I probably shouldn't say that on the internet. No, <laughs> <laughs> it's probably a bad idea. Well, now you've pointed it out. Uh, no it's too late. It's, there's no going back. Um, no, it's actually really nice, and this is something with a couple, like I said, a couple drops of water, not even an ice cube necessarily, mm. warm you up on a cold night. Feels like a nighttime drink, like a, a nightcap or like an after dinner. That is so interesting and different. Do we need another word for unique? Unique. I need to get a thesaurus out, like we'll just flip it open right here. <clears throat> it's, I don't know. Mmm. Mm. I'm much, oh, all day, all day with a couple drops of water. <laughs> that is tasty. Woo. All right. I like. Shall we? Yeah, you know what I might want to get is just like a cracker. Oh, a little cracker time. I don't know, Corky. Cracker time in a while. I know. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, thank you. How polite. I mean, I just can't get over this letter. Like, <laughs> they could have emailed us. I'm like, well, who hand writes letters in cursive? It's so beautiful. It's most appreciated. I want to keep it. Yeah. Well, we have and we will. I know, but like, I want to keep it somewhere, <clears throat> somewhere yeah. safe. Yeah. <laughs> somewhere safe. Yeah. No, uh, it uh, it is not lost on us. We greatly appreciate it. Yeah. Vial number three. Okay. Glass is sufficiently cleaned. Yes. So this is Blanton's straight from the barrel. 
Uh, I think we may have had a straight from the barrel once before at someone's house, or at least a different... Ooh, that's gonna be a fuzzy one for me. <laughs> a different expression of the regular Blantons we have here in America. Okay, Warehouse, Warehouse H, uh, Rick, oh, Rick, Rick, yeah. mm -hmm. Rick 11, Warehouse H, Rick 11, this is 125.6 proof, and this is provided by Adrian. Yay! Thank you, Adrian. You're the one who um, messaged us on Instagram and, and asked if you could send us some stuff. Uh, I need to know yeah. where you got this little thing because it's the cutest. I love the Fun. little message on the top. It said, strangely, an elephant person. It says, tasting is believing. It says, dear friends, one day we'll drink whiskey together in space. So again, Blanton's, straight from the barrel, another Buffalo Trace product. Mm, that smells like char. Uh, 125.6 proof. <sighs> smells like Buffalo Trace. It does. It oh, smells... Undeniably Buffalo Trace. So we've got uh, Heaven Hill Buffalo Trace Buffalo Trace. Correct. Yes. Cheers, Adrian. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Oh, oh my gosh. What? That's delicious. What's happening in my mouth? Wow, that's so good. So, I've been thinking that I'm... I always said I was a Buffalo Trace girl, but then recently I've been like, well, let's count, let me count the ways. I love, you know, Henry McKenna, Bottled and Bond, and I love Evan Williams, 1783. I love the Pikesville Rye, and these are all Heaven Hill, and I, <clears throat> I like the Parker's Heritage, but man, this is killer. Yeah. Whew. I mean, so it's not all the time, but some of the time. Now this might be some form of blasphemy, I don't know, <gasps> but of the three, Brace yourself. I think I would pick this guy, just because it's more of my flavor profile. The Thomas H. Handy was amazing. Uh, and I know the Handy is usually considered, like, the least desirable, it seems really? like, of... I know, Depends like, the Saz the and the Weller are up there. Um, yeah, and the, yeah, the George C. Stag, obviously, and the Stag, is yeah. up there. Uh, the Handy, he's like, oh, did you get an antique? Yeah, I just got a Handy. Yeah, that is what people say. I just got a Handy. We've stood in line and people have been like, oh, I got one. The people, like, two people in front of us, when well, we didn't get one. They're like, I got one, but it was just a Handy. And I'm I got like, a Handy. Didn't catch that until just now. Anyway, yeah, I just got a Handy. Um, wow. So, yeah, it, it seems like it's one of those, you know, the lesser coveted ones. Uh, and we've had the George C. Stack before, and Correct. it's amazing. Um, it is. But it's still an antique collection, and it's still amazing. It's still Buffalo Trace. But this Blanton's straight from the barrel. It's my flavor profile. Yeah, I'll go ahead and say I don't dislike any of these, mm -hmm. and they are all extremely different. Like, they are individuals as each other. I mean. I'll say this this tastes more like something that you've had, but just like up several notches. This tastes more like, you know, oh yeah, this is familiar, but wow, it's so good. Like, I want, if I could only order a bottle of one of these, it'd be a tough call between the Blantons and the Parker's Heritage, mm. but I think I'd have to go with the Blantons. Agreed. And, yeah, I mean, all around, I love the flavors, I love the finish, I feel like the proofage is right, spot on, I mean, I don't... It doesn't taste like doesn't taste like 125 feels good. It feels good. <laughs> um, and maybe it's just because it tastes more like home, more familiar. Or maybe because it's third. So should we go back and try this one again? Because we have a little sa tiny sample. <clears throat> yeah, we can. Let's do it. But that, folks, is It was amazing. our first one, and we normally go back, so let's go back. Because okay. we have we have just a touch of it. Oh, man. Just, just enough. I feel like I'm about to explode the world with this. <laughs> like I could make a bomb. <laughs> I would never do that. I shouldn't say that either. Can we cut that out? Nah. I just feel like in every 90s TV show you ever saw with a mad scientist, they had this much of something and it was so dangerous. Well, yeah, this is like The Rock. Did you see that movie? What movie? The Rock. Nicolas Cage. No. National Treasure? Yes, he's the guy from Lord National Treasure. Lord Same guy. But Sean Connery, welcome to The Rock. No, nope, never saying it. Okay. Anyway, it had to do with chemical warfare. And I feel like it's just like that. Yeah, that's all I meant. It's bourbon. I'm gonna drink it. And that's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. 
Send more, Adrian. No, don't. I feel like that don't take advantage of people's kindness. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, here we go. Save enough for me. No, that's exactly the way I remember it. Because, you know, sometimes you circle back and sure. you're like, oh, that was my first one. We did have a control. We did have a control burger. Just in case. No, it's... This is so tastes like cloves. It's, um... It's more... It's more palatable to me this time. Like, it's more even. I still pick up on that note. Like, before it was very overpowering. But after these tastes, to me, it's <clears throat> it's more subdued. I guess that's the word. Mm, I... The overall flavor balance, I still think I gotta go with a bland straight from the barrel. After going back... Hands down, Blanton's. Really? Hands down, yeah. I want to save it. Cuddle, cuddle it. It's only this much. <laughs> Come in. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's this phrase. Yeah. It's, it's got to go. It's got to go. What was I thinking? <sighs> Dressing up. <clears throat> How right. silly of me. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. In honor of the Vasquez family. It's meant to be drank. Drunk. Consumed. Yes. Now, of the smell category, it's the least like... It's the least fragrant. It's the least like, whoo, I'm gonna write home about this. Yeah. It just smells like bourbon. It does. It just smells like bourbon. Does it just... Just enough. Okay, now put the water in it. Oh, oh, it's so good. Once it hits your lips. It is, it's it's also actually really nutty as well. Not like super nutty. No, 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 no. It's, I, balanced is the only word I can use. Like, <laughs> there are a lot of things going on, but they play on the same level. You sip first, and then I'll sip, and then we'll, you sip, I sip, we sip. <laughs> <laughs> you sip, I sip, sip, sip. I don't think that's how the song goes. Oh. <laughs> it's good. You taste more of the. What is that? Well, it opens it up. It tastes more of the warehouse. The <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's almost as. Uh, Am I allowed to drink all this? Are you done? Or may I only sip a small sip? There's like. You do you. I really have to make it count. I gotta get some. Of I that. gotta give me some of that. I gotta give me some of that. <laughs> Name that movie. Yo, you know I got to give me some of that. <laughs> no, they're gonna name it later. Oh, they're gonna name it? I don't know. Okay. In the comments below, what movie is that from? It's from the 90s. I'll give you a clue. Jennifer Love Hewitt. Come on, you basically gave it away. No, come on. Stop talking like that. Alright, fine. <laughs> Oh, I prefer it without the drops. Mm -hmm. Me too. Me too. Like you do. Uh, <laughs> all right. Obviously, these some of these are over 100 proof, and we're done for now. Mm -hmm. Um. Cool. Ding. This is when this should go off. Ding. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. So. Cool. So, in summary, uh, if you can get any of these, get them, try them. They're wonderful. Also, in summary, thank you, Vasquez yes, family. thank you so, so, so much. We appreciate it. Never would have had greatly. a chance to try probably any of these. Well, I mean, it would have been hard. Or it would have been hard or hard on the wall. Very expensive. Yes. yes. So, <clears throat> thank you. I'm not gonna do that, but thank you very thank much. You. Why not? I would love to cheer to you if I had anything left. Um, they're all empty. No, they're all. I already checked. They're all empty. Okay, fine. But but thanks gonna, for sending us enough these. for us to both have some. Yeah, That's we're gonna awesome. we're gonna fill these up with other stuff. That's awesome. Thank you. Um, you're coming to, well. That's you, no secret, I guess. I was like, ooh, should we reveal this? They're coming to Kentucky in 2018 to go on the bourbon trail. It's not like, oh, we're gonna hunt them. <laughs> the most dangerous game. I know that <clears throat> reference. Thank you. It's terrifying. You're um. You're well read. Yes. Uh, and yes, when done. you come next year. 
uh, we would concept. love to meet we, up. We would yeah. love to, to, you know, have some pours in person. Yes, let's do it. Pours in person. Pours in That's person. That's a good video series. You think we should do it? I think we should do it. Yeah. Yep. Yep. If you'd like to have a pour in person, send us $500. <laughs> <laughs> and your firstborn child. <laughs> yes, and we will come to your place and have a pour in person. Mm, no. uh, so that'll do it for another unique uncorking. Thank you, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Thank you, Vasquez family. Yes, thank you. And until next time, drink more bourbon.